this is the fourth video in our series on creating a Facebook page for your school. So we've set up our page, now we're ready to start putting some content on there. And we do this through this box here, our status update box. So we can put in a simple text message, for example, our next assembly is on Friday at 9am. We will be focusing on Once you've finished putting in your text, always read over it, make sure there's no typos, and then you'll hit post. And that will be added to your page. You can see it there underneath us. When you're writing these posts, let's say if there's something you want to share online, like our latest newsletter is on the school web page, you could add a link to it. So I'm just going to put in... Um, You, but you'd actually cut and paste in your little link and you can post that and you'll see it's actually made it into a live link that people can click on and go straight to the newsletter. As well as posting text and links you can also add photos by clicking on here for the photo and video and you can upload your photos so say if we had a particular picture I'm just going to grab my logo picture again it will upload the photo and you can add more than one so you might have say photos from year five's um, science experiments today or photos from the school carnival you can add in some text and once you're happy with it you can hit post so it's a good way to quickly add a whole heap of images to share with your school community and in the same way you can upload videos as well the other items you can add in are events or milestones. So if you've got an event coming up, a quiz night, an assembly, a sports day, you can actually add that in. Put in all the details, where it is, um, where you can go to get tickets, whatever, whatever information you need to have there and add it in. You can also add in milestones. So milestones tend to be the big events for your school. Um, things like the opening of a new building or the appointment of a new principal. So over time, people can actually check the changes that are happening in your school. Once you've created a post, there are also a couple of things you can do with it. In this little box on the right hand side, you can do a little drop down and you can pin it to the top. That means it will stay at the top of your page for seven days. So if it's something really important that you don't want parents to miss, Pinning it to the top will make sure it's the first thing they see for the next seven days. You can edit if you've made a mistake in your post or change the date. And you can delete it if you're not happy. You can also click to embed the post. So let's say if you were trying to encourage people who are coming to your website to go to our Facebook page, we could take the code, embed it in your school web page so that people could see, oh, look, here's an example of what the kind of thing you'll find on your school Facebook page. So they're all the different tools that you've got to add content to your page. The trick now is to make sure you regularly add in different bits of content so that people know to keep coming back and seeing what's on offer at your school.